Hey, welcome back to Tech Jungle. Today we're talking about the MSI GS65 Stealth 002 gaming laptop. This was released by MSI in early 2019, and it features either the RTX 2060 or RTX 2070 Max-Q GPUs. I've been using the 2070 for the past couple weeks now, and I just wanna give you my honest opinion. Is it a laptop you should get, pass, or what? So let's go ahead and dig right in. So hey, welcome to Tech Jungle. Here you can find news, reviews, and updated information on some awesome technology existing in our world today. And one piece of awesome technology is the MSI GS65 Stealth 002 gaming laptop. Now, this one features the RTX 2070 Max-Q GPU. So over the 1070, you should see about a 25% boost, and that's a 1070 uh, Max-Q. So uh, if you're comparing both laptop GPUs, you should see about a overall performance boost of about 25%. Um, with that being said, there's not a lot of games out right now that take advantage of the ray tracing technology that is in the RTX GPUs. However, uh, maybe this is a laptop that you've been looking to get um, and you haven't purchased a laptop in maybe two, two plus years. Um, then maybe you want to get an RTX over last year's model. Um, now, one big thing that you want to consider is the price. So what I paid for this was 2,599 US dollars. Now, after take home with taxes, I was looking out of pocket of about 2750. So it's not a cheap laptop and just want to make sure that you're prepared going in. If you want one of these gaming laptops that uh, with the new RTX uh, graphics cards you may be paying a little bit of a premium just because they're the newer the newer models so with that being said um, yeah I went ahead and forked it over um, and just want to give you my thoughts about this one in particular so uh, the GS65 that was released last year it's a similar body de design and uh, uh, with this one in particular it, it has a, a flimsy construction it's a thin aluminum um, anodized matte black finish and it has gold trim around the outside and around the trackpad. Uh, now one thing I didn't like is the thin aluminum that they use because when you're uh, moving it around you can hear creaks and pops and cracks and whatnot and it sounds like an 85 year old man just to be honest with you. Uh, but if you're using it uh, you know stationary at a desk or you're, you're putting it in a secure laptop bag you should be just fine. I don't see this thing breaking or anything. It's just a little bit of annoyance. Um, the new razor blade models and also the MacBook Pros, you already know the body construction of those. I mean, it's that solid CNC aluminum, and uh, you just don't get that with this one in particular, the, uh, the MSI GS65. Um, but with that being said, uh, I do like the way it looks, that matte black finish, the gold trim around the outside, the gold trim around the mouse pad. Um, one, one difference between last year's model is the trackpad is about 35% larger. So it's about as large as uh, my iPhone 10 right here. Um, so you get a lot of travel uh, when you're scrolling. The buttons, when you click on them, they're a little bit mushy. I don't really use the buttons. I'm more of a tap to click uh, person. So, you know, I use gestures and whatnot. Uh, so it's, it's not that big of a deal for me. The keyboard is a Steel Series keyboard, so you get individually lit RGB uh, keys, and it works really well. You also have an app that uh, you can control and, and manipulate and customize the keys the way you want it, and uh, they get pretty bright, and so I don't have any issues. The, the, the key travel, it feels nice and comfortable. It's uh, one of the best keyboards for a laptop um, that I've tested out. So uh, the, mouse, the mouse pad, the keyboard, those two in combination, I think um, make this a, a well-built uh, system for, for scrolling and, and typing and whatnot. Now the screen is a 15.6 inch IPS panel. It, it is clocked in at 144 Hertz. So gaming is a super smooth, uh, web browsing is smooth. Um, you don't see any screen tearing when you're gaming and, uh, you know, 60 FPS gaming seems like, to me, it seems like 120 FPS. So uh, you will be pleasantly surprised. And if you are gaming in 2019, I think having 144 hertz re refresh rate on a screen is really important, um, especially if you're playing first person shooters. Uh, so uh, also the, um, the panel itself, it's a uh, anti-glare finish, so you can have this laptop outside or in, an, in kind of a bright environment and you shouldn't see some high reflective screen. 
So going into the performance of this thing, um, the, the one I got here that, that cost me so much money, and the reason why I got it was the 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM clocked in at 2666 in combination with a 512 gig NVMe SSD, and then also the RTX 2070 Max-Q GPU. Uh, I think that combination uh, and a whole, plus the, the form-fitting, uh, thin design of the, the laptop itself is just a great purchase if you're looking for something that's sleek and slim and packs a lot of punch. And uh, that's the reason why I picked this one up in particular. And I think that you'll like it as well. And and so I do have a little bit of uh, footage of me gaming here. Um, I'm playing Apex Legends. Um, if you are gaming on this laptop, you definitely want to take advantage of the Hi-Fi deck that's included uh, because you want to use a pair of headphones those fans get really loud and you don't want to have uh, the fans kind of interrupt your, your gameplay. Now, if you're just casually just hanging out in the room or whatever and you're just listening to music, uh, the fans don't really cut on and the speakers that are built into this laptop sound pretty good. Um, they're not MacBook Pro quality, but they do fill up a room pretty well. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised at just how good they sound. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into some additional specs. Um, the laptop itself, it weighs in at about four and a half pounds, 4.65 pounds, I believe. Um, and the ports on it that you get, uh, on the left side, you have your ethernet port, uh, two USB 3.1 ports, and a headphone and a mic jack. On the right side, you have a US 3.1 port, a Thunderbolt 3 port, a mini display port, an HDMI port, and your charging port. Um, and there's plenty of exhaust grills on the back and the sides uh, with a gold accent, which I think looks awesome. Uh, so it does keep the laptop cool. Um, I did run a couple benchmarks and I noticed that the, the CPU can get a little hot and, and as well as the GPU, but I, I never noticed any type of throttling or I didn't notice the laptop overheating. Um, and the laptop itself, when I felt it, it didn't feel aggressively hot. Um, if you're casually browsing the internet or even if you're editing content on it, it, it does get a little bit warm, but it's nothing that's uncomfortable. So as long as you have it well ventilated, the laptop should perform optimally. Um, so now is this a laptop you should buy? Well, uh, in my opinion, at this point, I would honestly hold off until maybe mid 2019 when the prices drop a little bit. Um, right now, they're just crazy high. I mean, $2,500, $2,700 take home um, after everything's said and done for a laptop um, is just, to me, it seems too expensive. Um, but I mean, that's teach his own. You know, if you have the, the deep pockets to pick up this laptop, then, then go right ahead. And also, if you haven't picked up a laptop in maybe two plus years, I would definitely consider this over last year's model because if you're trying to future proof for the next two plus years, why not get the current gen model? So um, the MSI GS65 Stealth 002 laptop, it's an incredible gaming system. And if you do pick it up, you will be pleasantly surprised. Um, just be aware, the, a couple of gripes that I had is just the build quality isn't the greatest. It's that thin aluminum and you hear the creaks and the pops and the price tag. So it's just those two things. The price tag come down about three or $400 and it's the best laptop you can get out right now. And so thank you for watching this video. This is Tech Jungle. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below and let me know if you're picking up maybe this laptop in particular or last year's model or maybe a Razer. Um, RTX laptop. Uh, let me know if you want me to review something else because I'm definitely up for it. Um, go ahead and like the video if you liked it, comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care. Bye.